Tom Dolan is a professional bank robber, who has stolen money from multiple banks, but never gets caught, as he leaves no evidence behind. As he moves to a new town near Boston, he meets Annie Wilkins, a worker at a storage unit facility. This meeting proves to be a new chapter in his life, and he quickly develops feelings for her. After a year of dating, he invites her to move in with him, and she hesitantly accepts the invitation. Tom wants to start a new life with Annie, so decides to confess his crimes. He calls the FBI office, where he talks to Agent Sam Baker, and introduces himself as, in and out Bandit, the name the media has given him after his robberies. He tells Sam that he wants to turn himself in, and is ready to return all the money, but in exchange for a reduced sentence in prison. Upon Sam's question about the reason behind his decision, Tom tells him he is in love with a woman, and wants to come clean before moving forward with his relationship. Sam does not believe his story, and tells that many people have already claimed to be in and out bandit, but agrees to visit him for further investigation. After the call, Sam discusses the case with his friend Agent Myers, and hands over the information to his juniors, John Nivens and Roman Halls, asking them to visit Tom in his hotel. Hall and John come over to meet him, and he tells the same story, but none of them believe him, as the police never found any evidence. To prove his point, Tom explains how he went for the banks in small towns, with old locker systems. He also reveals, he always found an empty building right next to the bank, and made his way through the AC duct, directly into the bank's vault, where he used his previous knowledge to explode the vaults, as he is an ex-marine, who served as a demolition expert. As they ask for the proof of money he is claiming to have, Tom hands over the keys to his locker, where they can find the money, before proceeding further with his deal. John and Hall visit the locker, and find the money in a storage box, but John changes his mind, and decides to keep it to himself. Hall, who is a morally sound guy, does not agree with him initially, but John convinces him, by saying the money can be a great help for him and his family. When Hall asks about Tom, John assures no one will believe him, as he has no evidence. As they stash the money in the car, Annie comes over after looking at them through the security camera, but they introduce themselves as Tom's friend, and tell her he sent them to pick up some stuff for him. She gets satisfied by the explanation, and leaves without any further questions. They arrive back at Tom's hotel room, and tell him about finding the money. John points a gun at him, asking him to keep it a secret, but Tom reveals there were only $3 million in the storage, and he kept the other $6 million as a bargaining chip. Meanwhile, Sam Backer arrives at the hotel, and interrupts the conversation. He tries to warn him about John, but before he can do anything, John shoots him. Tom starts fighting with him, and both jump out of the window, where Annie, who has just arrived to visit Tom, spots them. Tom immediately gets into the car with her, as they start following him, and tells her it's the FBI who is after him. While chasing him, Hall again argues with John for creating the mess, but he remains firm on his decision to keep the money. They soon spot Tom's car, but find it empty, as Tom and Annie have hidden in another car in the parking lot. After feeling safe again, Tom tells her about his robberies, and reveals he always wanted to tell her, but never had enough courage. She argues with him for stealing money, but he tells his side of the story, explaining that he is not a robber anymore. She also accuses him of killing people, but he disagrees with her, as he never killed anyone. Explaining his reason for robbing the banks, Tom tells her that his mother died of pneumonia, when he was serving with the Marine Force. After that, his father could not concentrate on his job, and got fired. The CEO of the company mishandled the funds, and refused to give his pension money, but his father did not have enough resources to hire a lawyer, and committed suicide after finding no other way. After going through all this, Tom robbed his first bank, where the CEO used to keep his money, but then made it his profession, as he liked the thrill. He reveals, he now wants to quit this profession before starting a new life with her. As Annie and Tom discuss the situation, Agent Myers starts investigating Becker's murder, and promises him to find the person responsible for his death. Meanwhile, Annie tells him about meeting those guys earlier at the storage unit. He tells her they killed their fellow agent, but he is sure they will accuse him of his murder, and no one in the FBI would believe him, as they won't go against their own agents. Myers interrogates John and Hall, but they tell him it's Tom who killed Becker, and then ran off with a woman. He also asks about the storage unit, but John tells him they did not find any money there, and Tom was lying to them. Knowing the agents will keep coming after him, Tom asks Annie to leave the city, and stay in a hotel until this is all over. She hesitates to leave, as she does not want him to be alone in this situation, but Tom assures her to join her soon. After saying goodbye to her, Tom starts searching about John's whereabouts, while Myers tells his team, that they found Tom's fingerprints from his hotel room. He tells them all his previous records are clear, and he was never found involved in any crime. Myers also finds the information about Annie, and asks them to go after her. Meanwhile, Annie calls Tom, and tells him she did not leave the city, and came back to her work, where she found the security footage of John and Hall taking boxes from the storage. 
Tom gets worried about her and asks her to leave immediately, but she does not get a chance, as John arrives. Realizing the adversity of the situation, Tom snatches a van from a food delivery guy and rushes to help her, but John already starts investigating her. He accuses her of being Tom's accomplice, and asks for the memory card of the footage. She does not reveal anything, and tries to fight him, but he knocks her down. Hall who has been waiting for John in the car, spots him torturing her, and comes inside, where he finds Annie passed out on the floor. John intends to kill her as well, but Hall stops him. He checks her pulse, and lies to John about her death, forcing him to leave. After a few minutes, Tom arrives and takes her to the nearest hospital, but leaves before police can spot him. He calls the FBI, and asks them to put him through to John. He accuses him of stealing money, and hurting Annie, but John denies his allegations, knowing Myers would be listening to the call. Myers calls John, and informs him about visiting the hospital to see Annie, and he realizes Hall lied to him about her. A police officer spots Tom on the road, and informs John and Hall about him. They start chasing him again, but Tom intentionally hits their car and escapes. Soon, Myers catches him, and starts beating him up, saying he murdered his friend, but. Tom denies doing it, he points a gun at Myers, and tells John killed Becker and hurt Annie as well, as she had evidence against him. He also hands over Hall's gun, which he stole from him in the hotel room, and Myers assures him to find out the truth. Meanwhile, John asks Hall to kill Annie, but he refuses to do it, so John decides to do it himself, but does not get a chance because of Myers' presence in her room. Myers calls John in his office, and asks why Tom is pointing a finger at him, and asks about Tom's earlier conversation, when he accused him of stealing money, but John once again denies doing it, and insists there was no money. Hall also joins the conversation, and Myers returns his gun which he recovered from Tom, but does not say anything to him. After the meeting, Hall asks John about his next plan, and he threatens to hurt his family if he does not stick by his side. Hall can't stop thinking about their unethical act, as it's against his nature. Fearing the consequences, he assures his wife that whatever he did was just to give a better life to his family. The same night, Tom barges into his house and attacks him. Hall thinks he must be there to kill him, but Tom assures him he is just a robber, and not a murderer. He reveals that he knows Hall did not want to join John in his plan, and he accepts his mistake. Tom asks him to prove his innocence in the case. Hall agrees to help him, and tells him he has the security footage which he took from Annie's pocket. He also reveals John's plan of killing her, and asks Tom to move her to a safe place, so he takes her to the hotel with him. Later, Tom calls Myers, and informs him about taking Annie with him, but assures him she is not involved with his robberies. Myers offers his full support in Tom's quest for the evidence, but Tom refuses any help, saying he will handle the situation by himself. As Annie recovers from her injuries, Tom arranges the explosive, and plants it in John's house. He calls him and asks to confess his crime, but John refuses to do it, and Tom blows his house just before he runs out. John teases him for not being able to kill him, but Tom reveals it wasn't his purpose, and he just wants a confession from him, but John does not agree to do it. After coming to a safe house, John calls Halls and informs him about the explosion, and he agrees to meet him. Meanwhile, Annie invites Myers to the storage unit, where she hands over the security footage, and shows him the remaining money, to prove Tom wasn't lying. Tom and Hall arrive to meet John, where Tom reveals he has given him the security footage. Hall argues with him for killing Becker, but he shoots him, and escapes with the money. As John drives away, Tom calls him, and reveals there is a bomb under his car seat. He tells him it's a pressure-sensitive explosive, so he should stay in the car, and wait for the bomb disposal squad to rescue him. After dropping the call, he recovers a recording device from Hall's body, in which John has confessed to killing Becker. Meanwhile, Myers, along with the bomb disposal squad, rescue John, but the officer tells him Tom lied about the explosive, and it's useless. Myers orders his team to arrest him, and recovers the money from his car, realizing that Tom was telling the truth. After arriving back at his office, he also receives a recording device that proves Tom's innocence in the case. Soon, Myers goes to meet Annie, and Tom shows up, and turns himself in as his end of the deal. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.